Lizzie Bird, and today's episode of Splatoon 3, we are checking out the Aerospray RG, a beautifully golden variant of my favorite weapon, the Aerospray. Let's get started. Before we get started with our weapon showcase, there is a brand new Splatfast for this month. Of course, I'm so excited for it. It is spicy versus sweet versus sour. What's your favorite sens taste sensation, sweet, spicy, or sour? No way, I'm hungry now. I had breakfast, brunch, and lunch. Is lunar a thing? <laughs> Let's dig into the teams. First, Team Spicy, bringer of heat. Make it hurt and burn. You know what's better than hurting? Not hurting. Sweet is a taste of happy. Hey, girl, both of you real taste heads know that sour flavors are superior. I'm not actually picky about food, you know? I'll eat anything. Like all my snacks? Yeah, I know. Is that where my wasabi munchy snacks went? Fry. If it makes you feel any better, I wasn't into them at all. They made my nose too tingly. That's the best part. I can't get enough of that sensation. Still, I can see how a sweet tooth like you couldn't handle it. Just like your coffee. What's wrong with my coffee? It's delish, like a drinkable candy bar. I need to apologize to your barista for the things that you make them do to coffee. <laughs> oh, come on, that sweet sugar buzz is what gets me going. It's the source of my power. Power rhymes with sour, and sour is the best of all, like pickled plums. Ew, big man, you're drooling. <laughs> That's pickled plums for you, just you wait. I'll make you some, sour squad. Oh, my tongue is far too scorched by curry and kimchi to taste sour stuff, Team Spicy. This is going to be a piece of cake for Team Sweet, get it, cake? Pucker up, because this Splatfest is sours for the taking. And that's all for now. Make sure to get your votes in. So yeah, definitely. We'll be voting for one right now and get started with everything. I would love to hear which one you're choosing, either spicy, sweet, or sour. I might be in the minority with this one. I guess I'll have to wait and see, but honestly, I'm mostly sort of a fan of savory foods. But beyond that, I guess Team Sour is the one I'm going to go for. I love more sour foods. I don't eat them a ton, but when I do eat them, it just feels like a treat to me. I don't know. <laughs> We'll go for it. There we go, Pucker up Puppy on Team Sour. All right, there you go, you joined the team. Enjoy your Splatfesty, which will be great as we prepare for a weapon showcase for today. So here is the Aerospray RG with medium range, low damage, and high fire rate. This one might be a little bit different than our other one. This one's the Sprinkler and the Booyah Bomb, which is definitely cool. So we'll be purchasing this with our Sheldon ticket, and we'll slide over to the practice area to give it a try. So the Aerospray RG seems pretty similar to an Aerospray, of course, we got that really crazy fire rate. We get to start shooting at enemies, blasting them down like this. But now we also have the sprinkler, which can be great for some added coverage here and there. And then on top of that, we fill it up all the way. We have the Booyah Bomb, which isn't something we've used too often, but it's this huge bomb that we, if we press down, we can earn up some Booyahs. Our teammates can also help out with it. Toss it over and a huge explosion. That can be so, so useful for certain game modes. It can really change the tide of the match. So I'm really excited to check it out. Before we get started with too much more though, I definitely want to go and switch over to our brand new, brand new Splatfest team, which for us, of course, is Team Sour. And I love this color of green. So it actually, it's like greenish, almost yellowish. I don't know, it's, it's my favorite color. So really glad to see that too. It, it all mixes together pretty well. So we'll start off with some turf war right over here, which will be Flounder Heights Museum di Alfonso. Okay, our first round is here with the Aerospray RG. I'm just ready to get into it. I, I love you know these kind of weapons. I've talked about it a lot before. These are really just my type. Just being able to go around, get some turf covered. And it's, you know, it's a little close range, sure, but the fire rate's quick, and as long as we have some moderately good aiming, we should be able to get spots, no problem. We just had that with the sploosh matic was it last episode, a few episodes ago? And that turned out great, too. So, really just gonna try to make the most of it here. I think we definitely wanna catch up a little bit. Whoa, whoa, okay, try to get you, try to get you. Oh, no, ah, oh, they got me, <laughs> okay. It has been a couple days since I've last played, so there might be some uh, warming up I gotta do. But yeah, I think this is a great weapon to sort of get back into things, prepare for the Splatfest that's coming up. Should be nice and fun. I think being in a turf war mindset for a Splatfest is always super important. We've been playing a lot of ranked recently, which is always a ton of fun. But whoa, we got that spot. That was good, that was good. So I think we'll try to Maybe try to, yeah, splat you. Ooh, right as using your special too. Couldn't even make the most of it, so that's very fortunate for us. But we've been doing a lot of ranked game modes recently, which are a lot of fun and super important to, you know, get comfortable with. But I think it's also good that we are, I don't know if this is the best idea. Uh, it might have not have been. 
Um, but we'll try this. It's the, oh, we still got this flat, that's huge. Okay, I'm going down here, gonna cause some havoc. And let's see, I might do this. You get up here, it looks like, oh, they have some people over this way. I see you, okay, somebody else got you instead. Let's go for you, oh, okay, hold on, hold on. Oh, I'm in trouble, I'm in trouble. It's Aerospray versus Aerospray. <laughs> and we were able to get it, that is so good. And let's throw out a sprinkler or something. I am too close to you. Luckily, it was a trade. Oh, man. So we are starting off pretty crazy here. There's like stuff everywhere. Um, We'll try to bounce over to somebody. I pressed the wrong button. But our main home turf here is very well covered, which is always something to expect with an aerospray, which is great. I think I'll toss. Oh, no. Ooh, that could have gotten me good. But luckily, it didn't. Okay, they don't seem to see me over here. Oh, they got me. Okay. But it was a trade, and our teammate got the other one. So that might be good. And if I could just get head out here, swim as fast as we can. Oh no, uh, gotta be careful. But yeah, if they don't turn around, we're fine. That was a really good splat, but I think um, one of our charger players. So that's nice to see. And honestly, I don't think they're gonna be able to stop us too much here. If I throw out a sprinkler like that, we can cause some major havoc here really, really fast. And then if things are getting scary, I could just Booyah Bomb right about there and see who we can get in trouble. Gotcha, double splat with the Booyah Bomb, that's huge. Okay, we've just bought ourselves a ton of time here just to cover turf. And there is somebody else over here, but what are they really gonna be able to do, you know? Um, that, okay, never mind. <laughs> okay, I think we can still win this though. It still looks about 50-50, but they're making some major moves. It's all about our teammates here. Will they be able to keep the guard up? I think we still won, but I guess we'll find out in a moment. Oh, we did, but not by much. Only 3.6% was our lead there. We got a bunch of gold medals though with Turf Inker, popular target in home base Inker. So pretty good start with the Aero Sprite. I'm liking it a lot. So obviously that was to be expected with it being the base version, being my favorite weapon. I'm hoping we can rack up a lot of good wins in today's episode for sure. But as you can see with all this stuff, we're getting level ups left and right. The multiplayer maps and modes have been updated. So there's a lot to look forward to. So what maps will we have now? Round two of Turf War is going to have either Eel Tail Alley or Mince Meat Metal Works. Both really fun maps, so I'm excited to hop back in. Okay, so it looks like we're we're dealing with Mince Meat first here. So let's get into it and just cover some turf all over the place. Hopefully get an easy Booyah Bomb. So happy that we got the double Booyah Bomb splat in that last round because it's not sort of a special I'm super familiar with, so the more experience we can get with it like that is always good. And I feel like this map could be good for it too, considering the fact that the, you know there's sort of just a huge area where players sort of run around in that we can sort of get them caught up in. So let's see, for right now, I toss down a, a sprinkler like that. Ooh, good, good throw by our teammate there. Well, we'll just sneak up on somebody and get them. Okay, this is where we could just maybe throw it right about here, because I think there's somebody over there. Let's see what they try to do here. We get the splat on, they had nowhere to go. All right, that is very cool. So, yeah, we're doing great so far. I can't get up there from here, so I, I just need to watch where we're heading here. So it seems like there's somebody over this way causing problems, probably, yeah, above us. I was trying to cover up what hasn't been touched, really, though. I think that's a little bit more important for the time being. Can fill up one of those. I hear somebody coming in and exploding. Seems like they're not ready for us though. There we go, the teamwork. Oh no, oh no, a little too far that time. Actually, I don't know, they got an aerospray too, so I guess just didn't really aim it super well. Because I think the stats for the weapon itself are the same in terms of, you know, its distance and stuff. If I'm not mistaken, it might be slightly tweaked, but either way, really doesn't feel all that much different. Okay, up here, I'm sure yeah, there's some untouched stuff because most people never notice that part of the map. I'm gonna throw another sprinkler. Okay, I see this over here. Whoa, but you see me. Okay, that was unfortunate. They took advantage of the fact that I was very distracted. So far, not the best start. It feels like they have more cover than us, but we'll bounce back. It's all about that last minute, right? So let's get out there. Our teammates are still trying to get some things done. I would like to get up here. I think a height advantage would be really nice right about now. Okay, they don't seem to see me, so I can just pop up on them, and boom, get a good spot. Ending with two, whoa, that was close. Gotta be careful with stuff like that, but we're gonna throw the Booyah Bomb right about here, I think. Get you two. All right, huge moves happening right now. I know that they have somebody right over here. It's a Dooley's player, though. We gotta be quick with this. Okay, um, I'll break that, go back this way, throw out a couple Booyahs to our team. Gotta keep the morale up. This is what we wanted, for sure. Throwing that sprinkler out, playing it safe. 
trying to make them think that I'm not here, and then we get them. Like right here. Ooh, it's gonna be close. Yeah, that was really close. Close up on them, because they're trying to run away. Awesome. Then we do the, the Booyah Bomb about there. I think was a good idea. And they weren't really even over there, but, oh man, oh man. They don't seem to see that I'm right behind them. So I'm just gonna try to splat who we can. That was great, that was great. I know that they're right behind me. Yep, here you are. Okay, it was a trade, it was a trade. That's good, I was able to protect my teammate from getting splatted there. I'll take that for sure. And I think with that, we've gotta win. I don't know, I guess we'll see. Okay, come on, come on. Boom, that will definitely be a win for us. Even greater of a lead than last time. So yeah, so far with the Aerospray RG, we are golden. <laughs> Both literally and figuratively. <laughs> this is going great, so glad to see it. We're gonna go for one more round of Turf War here at the least before we switch over to some Ranked. Eel Tail Alley is our next round. We got double Aerospray, looking good. <laughs> So yeah, well, and they got one too. So as we're going through this one, I would love to hear what are your thoughts on the Aerospray RG? Do you think this is a better variant than the original Aerospray MG? And so, you know, what do you like different about it? All that kind of stuff, I always love to hear. So far, I think it's pretty cool. It really just depends on the scenario on if I like this better than the MG. You know, sometimes the other special with like, riding the shark and stuff can be very, very useful. So it's just sort of a give and take, my opinion. I think that's, you know, obviously with a lot of weapons, it depends on the scenario you're trying to use it in. But I think, of course, a Booyah Bomb Woe is always welcome, especially since I haven't used one too much. I think we're gonna throw the sprinkler over there, just try to cover up as much as I can up here, because it looks like they haven't touched it, watch out! Oh man, um, Booyah Bomb time. We're just gonna throw it over like that. I overthrew it, oh no. Okay, they're just standing there for some reason. That was odd. Whoa, ooh, I thought I jumped up that and I wasn't. I was still on the side. That definitely threw me off. I'm still confused by the one person was just sort of, they, they gave up, they accepted their fate, that I was gonna splat them. A bit odd, but, oh, you know what, I think they might have disconnected. <laughs> yep, there it goes, great. <laughs> All right, I guess this one doesn't count. <laughs> okay, so a proper round this time. Sorry about that last one, I mean, I guess there wasn't too much I could do about it, but, you know, we're just gonna pretend it didn't happen and just get a better round this time, because, you know, I, I don't know how that one was going anyways. You never know, right? So we just gotta keep moving but I do see a lot of stuff over here we can cover up, no problem. This is another area of the map that I feel like players don't touch too often, so yeah, just getting this covered up now so we don't have to worry about it later can be pretty huge. I see a lot of players above, so I'm just gonna go below. See what kind of things we can get into over there. And what I love about, of course, oh, this is maybe um, a little bit overzealous to say the least. We're just gonna do that and see if I spot anybody. I don't think I will, but I can get you there. Awesome. I think there's a lot of movement as an aerospace player could be really important. I do see that a lot whenever I'm like chasing down other aerospace players. Is they're, they're very focused, oh no. Oh, I got them. Okay, it's a trade, it's a trade. Um, they're very focused on what's directly ahead of them that they can almost get uh, a tunnel vision on it. So I think it's good to be super aware of your surroundings in a game like Splatoon where every player is sort of looking to sneak up behind you. It can be a learned skill for sure. It's not something you're gonna pick up right away, but definitely good to keep in mind. Because I think it's easy to sort of fall into that habit as an aerospray player or just weapons like this where it is very turf coverage focused. They're looking down a lot and not looking ahead of you. Okay, we got the Booyah Bomb. I think I'm just gonna throw it out over here. Actually, maybe up that way. I think I overthrew it again. Happens to me a lot. Somebody got spotted though. Let's see what I can do. I can throw over a sprinkler. We're just trying to keep their stuff nice and covered. Um. Okay, I saw you over there, but where are you now? There you are, okay, whoa, gotta be careful this bomb. Going a little crazy. And I think they might still be trying to get me here, so I'm just trying to be very careful. But it seems like our team is doing a great job of holding them back. Whoa, the shark's coming in. Okay, I see you over there. Let's see, oh, you got them, good. Okay, that was great. Yeah, they're just sort of in a lot of trouble at this point. I don't think they'll be able to make it out of this, but if we can just keep them on the ropes for a little bit, even if I don't get too many points for this one, I don't wanna go too crazy with it, I just wanna hold them back there so we can get this win. Okay, you know what? I think now's the time we go for it. We toss that over there, we go over this way, because this person, you know, they're going a little crazy, I wanna throw the sprinkler on them to maybe slow them down, it didn't work. That's okay, that's okay. There's a lot of stuff here by our turf that we've yet to cover though, I, I feel like. 
At least a little bit of it. Okay, can't cover that up anyways. Let's get back over here. Yep, get some work done. And I see you over there, where do you think you're going? Not happening. And I might just wanna go on this person as fast as we can. Wow, that was crazy actually. Whoa, so our teammates splatting left and right right now. Very impressive, really great work by everybody. And we get one more for the road. <laughs> so you had three very successful rounds of Turf War. I think that we uh, definitely got another win here. So happy to see that for sure. I think at this point we'll move over to rank just so that we're spending our energy getting some extra points and stuff there. But we got two more gold medals for us, Turf Inker and Spada Sister, as well as a silver, um, was it ground something? Ground Splatter, I don't know. <laughs> Either way, pretty cool, pretty cool. So I think, well, we'll see what ranked modes are available. I don't really know at the moment, but we should be getting another level up for our T soon. Slowly, we got one already, but hopefully another one soon. We'll stop for now. And let's take a look at what's available for us. Right over here, instead of doing Turf War, we have either Rainmaker or Tower Control. I think I wanna do some tower control. I think that'd be fun. So yeah, let's just get a couple rounds of tower control figured out. We are currently B rank. I would love to just sort of chip closer to B plus. All right then. So this time, of course, we don't have to worry as much about covering turf and instead about getting up there. So we got the, the sprinkler and they took the tower to start with, but I think we just get up here and just try to damage down whoever we can. If I could get one splat, couldn't quite get it. That's a little unfortunate, but this is where I think having the Booyah Bomb will be better than the, the shark that explodes. Because if we can just get a good Booyah Bomb off, we can do so much, you know? So if I just throw like a, um, a sprinkler down that way, and then just cover stuff up. It seems a little counterproductive for now, but I get this Booyah Bomb, and then we go crazy like this, I toss it about there, and then we just get on top of this thing, and then lose the tower, we'll be able to ride it back. I see you over there. My aiming not doing too good when I'm falling down the tower while trying to shoot, but gonna get this here, toss it over like that. It wasn't the best scenario and I'm falling off again. I keep doing that. Okay, they're, they're throwing some good stuff and oh, they got me good. You gotta worry about people like above us. Right now they're in the lead, but not by many points. I think we can get back out there, get more done. I'm just trying to like sort of spray out some different pathways our team can get to. Get some extra points that way too would be great. Whoa, avoid the Booyah Bomb. You know, what if I got over here? Okay, you see me, but I might be able to get you. Oh, I got you, good. Okay, that's really good. Whoa, where did they go? They're over there. That was nice. I wanna try to steal this for ourselves. I know you're gonna get up there, so if I can just flat you first, then get back over, that's pretty huge. And they don't seem to see the, uh... All right, you know what? Let's go for this then, and then put it about there. Splat you, and there's another person down too. See, this is where the Booyah Bomb can be really nice. Okay, we're just sort of chipping through this checkpoint and we are now firmly in the lead, so that's always fun. I see you somewhere. <laughs> this is getting crazy. Seems like they chased them off, so good job to our team. And then we'll try to get over here. Gotcha! Ah, oh, couldn't quite get the other person though. They're still in the corner. If I could have gotten them, that would have been huge. So far, super intense. But we are in the lead with points by a decent margin too, so that's always fun. I just wanna get this and Bring it back over. I didn't mean to do that, exactly. <laughs> Whoa, here you are, here you are. Ah, there's too many of them. <laughs> and they have two error spray players on their team. I'm the only one here. <laughs> Not that that like, is required to win, but it's definitely a reliable weapon. Okay, help them out with their Booyah Bomb. Hopefully soon we can get ours. I don't know if that person's still on here. I suppose not. Oh no, oh no, oh my, just trying to turn my control, I was basically facing it inside out. Oh my gosh, that was not good. If my aim was a little bit quicker, I think we would've been a tie. In those moments, I just also need to use the analog stick. I thought that's always sort of a guarantee, is that if you can use both, okay, I thought I was maybe at, at the rim of that, I was not, <laughs> but um, if you can use both analog stick and motion controls, that usually is a lot better. We've lost the lead with that too. See, I was just being really silly. It happens, we'll just take it back again. Okay, I see a couple of players over there I really wanna get. Starting with you, destroy the sh th thing, maybe the shield. Uh, and then we're back on top. We took the tower, trying to get in the lead. Gotta catch up to you so that we can get that easy splat and then maybe turn towards you because you're running away now. Whoa, can I get you? I can't believe that. I feel like I really covered them, I think, but we just did not get 
what we needed. Okay, going back in, they took the tower. I'm gonna help you with your booyah bombs that hopefully I can get my own soon. I had it before, but I didn't lose that. I thought I could just survive that, but I wasn't able to. We're being really silly, so, ah, come on, ah! I was focusing on the, the sprinkler there because I thought it was a player. With one minute remaining, they are in the lead still. This, get, this is getting really scary. But we can certainly do something, I just need to not panic. Look at all this stuff over here to cover up. So, whoa, okay, there's people everywhere. Jeez, I just needed to get them. If I could have gotten them, <laughs> but I didn't. So let's not over focus on it. I don't think it's a good spot to jump on them. They took the tower again. I'm tossing that over. Going uphill here can sort of be a huge problem. Get up here, please. They lost the tower. I need to stay on it. Here's where things are gonna be really difficult. If we wanna win this, we are going to, no way, come on. We're going to need to stay on that tower and ride in overtime at this point. And that's just not happening. They got us in such a rough bottleneck where they're gonna show up and splat us. And we just seem like we can't keep up with them. So that's really frustrating. I don't think it's gonna happen. I'm gonna have to splat them right now. And instead I just keep getting splatted over and over. So while we had a really good grip on them, for a while. We just let it go and we couldn't get it back. And that just happens sometimes. We just didn't synchronize very well as a team. So hopefully next round will go a little bit better. But I definitely don't think we played bad this round. Hopefully we don't lose too many points. You know, I gotta gain those back eventually, but I guess we'll see in just a moment. But yeah, definitely a good game. I had a lot of fun with that one. As you can see, we still got a lot of gold medals. Overall splatter. Score booster, we only lost two points too, so it's really not too much to sweat about. Okay, so we're making our way over to Mako Mart. I haven't played this map in a little while, actually, now that I'm thinking about it, so happy to hop into it. Hopefully we can win a round of tower control here. Once again, my favorite color, <laughs> this yellowish green. And we'll see. Can I get somebody here? Okay, I, I was able to splat them, and then somebody splatted me. I don't know, I feel like I'm Making more mistakes as time goes on here, maybe moving a little too fast. So I think for right now, as long as we could just, yeah, we got the lead there. I feel like worrying about the lead at the very first like minute of tower control isn't really too worry worrisome, especially you know if they're not like just springing you straight to the end. I know you're trying to get me here. I just shouldn't have gone that way. I'm just trying to get enough for a booyah bomb. I think if we give that a toss right now, that'd be great. Okay, but now they're bringing it a little bit troublesomely far. Usually the first couple points isn't anything to sweat about. Um. I'd like to get over here. Okay, you, you got the zip caster right now. I'm gonna try to splat you. I almost got you there. Not quite enough though, unfortunately. Okay, it's making its way back. So this is where we have the Booyah Bomb. If anybody tries to show up and give us a problem, I think we'll be okay with just throwing it. We just gotta be quick with it. If anybody, whoa, goes like that. um, We just need to toss it like that. Go crazy here maybe. I didn't throw it in the best spot, unfortunately. So that did me no favors at all. Yeah, geez, so far I feel like we started playing really good, and as things have gone on, we're sort of losing it a bit, losing our momentum. Jeez, how is that not enough? I don't know, but we finally did get them, and then somebody else is just right on top of me. I feel like, it's <laughs> about there are some games where it feels like the enemy team has more players than we do. I just, I feel like I'm seeing so many of the enemy team and none of my own teammates. It gets a little weird, but maybe that's my own fault. My position's not good or something. Of course, while it is a team game, all I can really ask myself is how can I fix this situation? What, is, what can I do? I feel like you know, getting angry at our teammates really doesn't get us anywhere because it doesn't change how the teammates might be playing. And it doesn't really change anything that I can do about that. All I can focus on is my own gameplay. Okay, but speaking of which, our teammates are doing really good now. It seems like we're all here. I don't wanna go too far from them, but I think spreading out a little bit might be the ticket here because then we can toss this over to you. I know I got one person for it. There we go, and there's another person. So it's not the most amazing thing, but we're breaking through this checkpoint now. I'm just trying to be careful. Try to watch where they might be coming in from, from all areas, but we broke through that checkpoint. Guys, we might need some help. I don't know where my teammates are at the moment, but I'm just trying to avoid everything in another booyah bomb. Here we go, here we go. Put it about there, maybe. And then back it up a little bit. Try to splat you. I was panicking a little bit, so I couldn't quite land it, but that is something that I feel like is happening. Maybe we, like, we have the tower, our teammates are spreading out, which is good, but maybe spreading out a little too much. And then I just turn around and there's you know three people trying to get the tower. So maybe that's where I need to hop off the tower. Oh, you don't see me, I don't think. 
Oh, no, how did they go under me there? That was weird. Um, come on, can I get you? Can I get you? That was huge. Um, the only unfortunate thing there is that I missed my jump. If I could have gone on the tower there, maybe it would have been fine, but I still got rid of two of them. So hopefully my teammate can clear, teammates can clear the rest, but they're still in the lead here by significant margin, unfortunately. Even with our good moves, we let them have too much at the beginning. Oh no, oh no. Whoa, uh, <laughs> yeah, you can't rush over that way. They have a lot of good, like they have the charger and the tri shot or whatever, the tri stringer. Um, and they're sort of sitting in the middle of the map and not letting us get too far with their up ground advantage and I might be in trouble. Ooh, that can be really difficult to deal with, especially when we're trying to play catch up. We took the tower back. I see them trying to jump in over here. So if I could just get rid of you, that's huge. I know I'm going extra slow because of that thing, but I don't really care too much right now. We have the Booyah Bomb ready. Whoa, where are you? Oh, you're right there. Okay, I did not see you. Jeez, this is tough. It's gonna take us everything we have to beat them at this point with only one minute remaining. And our team, did they get wiped out or did we? I think they got wiped out, so that's good. But it's not enough. They're in the lead by a significant amount. Gonna throw that over just to make it more difficult for them. And we might be able to get them, but once again, I'm sort of, I'm focusing on it too much. So I get splatted and I'm not there for my team. So that was definitely my bad. I don't know, this one's looking rough so far. I thought that turf would go a little bit better. They were all over the place. It wasn't even them. I don't know, it also might be like a weapon thing, because now that I'm looking at all of our team's weapons, we have two arrow sprays, we have the one blaster, and then we have a spider shot. I don't think we have enough range. Okay, no, you don't, yes you do, whoa. Okay, now I'm back up. I know that you have the ink jet, you're somewhere, you're causing havoc, and I'm not doing well. They have too much range on us. I think that's what it's actually coming down to, is that they can just sort of spot us from a distance that we can't keep up with, so. Obviously, not too much we can do about that. The game gives us the players that the game gives us, whatever weapons they chose. So, so far, not the best luck in rank, but we're only losing two points at a time. We can bounce back for sure. If we can win just one game, we'll still gain more points than we lost. So, <laughs> hopefully that goes well. I'll have to see you in the next round. Okay, so we're back to this map. I feel like we did get closer to winning on this one than Mako Mart, for sure. So, let's see how this one goes. Yeah, maybe tower control just isn't gonna be the setup for me here. Maybe we should do one round of um, Rainmaker. It could still be cool. I mean, especially with the Aerospray's attacker. I feel like we can blow up. Ooh, gotcha. Oh, but somebody got me. Really gotta pay attention to our positioning here and like where the other enemies are because they'll turn around on us. This person right now hiding in the corner. <laughs> that can happen and it's not so good when it does. Okay, they lost the tower. That's a great thing to hear. We need more than just that. We need to take the tower for ourselves. Let's see, let's see. If I could just, you know, do something like this, maybe toss it about here. Looks like they're about to throw their own Booyah Bomb. I gotta run then. And do you see me? You do see me, but I'm able to get you still. So that's great. And it looks like, I don't know if this person sees me too. Oh man, they are everywhere. Obviously I'm trying to sneak up behind them. So of course I'm gonna run into them. Jeez, this is tough so far. I'm going back out. And I think, oh gosh. They toss it up there, that's pretty big, but they are just chasing right after me. <laughs> that was a good shot though, with the, the Splatana Samper there. Wow, okay. There's some fights going on out this way. I might wanna jump to one of them. I don't know if that was a good idea in hindsight now. Um, oh man, they are going crazy on us. I don't like it. I would like to just chill for a second. As this resets back to the center, I don't wanna to go too crazy there. If some of my teammates are on it, let them do their thing. I don't know how they got away from you there, but they did. Not you though, that's for sure. Okay, time for another Booyah Bomb. I'm gonna to toss this one right there. I think that's the perfect spot. Never mind, they caught me good for that one. Jeez, I don't know. That's sort of the crazy thing. I still, I know I've talked about it a little bit in previous episodes, but ranked Splatoon is so weird to me because it's either, it seems like get destroyed or destroy. It, it always seems very often one-sided and I don't know what the deal is with that. You know, with ranked, I feel like it should be more balanced than unranked in that way. But I feel like oftentimes we've run into more close games in unranked. Maybe that's just, you know, my own observations not being correct. Something like that, who knows? Oh no, they totally told him there. They, they saw me from the get-go. Okay, so that didn't work out so well. 
And who knows what that could be? I, I really have no clue if the game just doesn't have good balancing or if maybe, you know, we're playing with people in different regions and like a B rank player in one region is actually way better than like a B rank player in a different region, just depending on the competition and stuff. Who knows? So it's like that with some games. Whoa. Whoa. Oh no. Ooh. Well, okay, this is not going so well for me. I'm just being a mess everywhere I go, getting splattered by everything. But we just haven't really gotten any points at all. We have 92 remaining, they have nine. It just totally controlling it. So I think no matter what, this will be our last round of tower control because it is just weighing on me a little bit too much. Okay, we're running over here. Took control of it. I know they see me over here, but you know what? If they're focusing on me, they're not focusing on the tower, so that's always good. <laughs> oh, they got me. I don't know, you can only run from a charger player for so long, or a splatter scope, or whatever it is. They always find a way to find me. We took the tower, that's huge. Now if we can just ride it to victory. Come on, right, checkpoint one. Ooh, that's good, that's good. We haven't made it that far just yet, so our teammates are going crazy. I got you a little bit, but not enough to splat you. Come on. I'm really, I feel like I'm not contributing very much here. So that's another thing where it's just like, I want to be able to help my team out. And if I'm not doing that right now, it's just probably just better to switch. But we took the tower. So we're still fighting for it here in the last minute. We jumped up a ton of points there. So I would like to toss a sprinkler over just to make it a little bit more difficult for them. And then if I could get yeah, just a little bit more there and go back over this way. Nobody over there for now. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Put it right there. And I know that you're waiting for me. I'm just gonna run. We get two splats for that one. That's huge. Um, this is where we fight for everything. We get a huge turnaround. What is going on with the vacuum guy? Don't wanna deal with that. Um, no, you don't, no, you don't. Um, okay, maybe you will. Ah, darn. And we all got wiped out. Oh no! We were so close to taking it too. That is so unfortunate. We need to go out there right now. So let's just fight for it because we could, if we could just get out there and put it in overtime, this could win. This could get us a win. Ah, but I get spotted right away. I know I'm sort of being a little bit too straightforward with it, I guess, but if somebody could just hop on that tower for an extra second and it's not gonna happen. Jeez, tower control kicking my butt today. So we'll do one round of Rainmaker. I mean, actually, maybe I shouldn't though. Now I'm thinking about it, because we need to invest the full five matches in it. So maybe that wouldn't be a very good idea right now. Especially since I don't know when this next time we're gonna tackle ranked after this episode, because we'll be doing spot fest this weekend. So you know what? Maybe it is actually good just to end it here. Well, you know, we did six rounds in total. That's pretty good. And we did three wins with turf four, three losses with tower control. It's a bit of an up and a bit of a down, but I think overall, it just shows the strengths of this weapon. It's a turf war weapon through and through, which is fantastic for the uh, spot fest we're preparing for, because that's what spot fest is, just turf war over and over again. So we'll be having a lot of fun this weekend as we represent team sour in the sour versus sweet versus uh, spicy uh, spot fest. It's gonna be a ton of fun, but in the meantime, I guess I'll use a con shell to play one of these. Um, doesn't matter if we do this now or later, so might as well do it now. We get ourselves a drink ticket, and if I go for another one, use another con shell, this is gonna have three ability chunks. Not too bad. And then we, of course, still have enough coins to do our first play of the day for a little bit cheaper. This one has our pack of cards, which is uh, a NZAP 85 and a Kohawk as our new cards are. So pretty good stuff there. We'll go check out the shops to see if there's anything fun to scoop up. I don't think there's gonna be too much, but you never know, so we might as well try. Okay, so here we are. We'll go to the headgear and just take a look. But definitely, yeah, let me know your thoughts on the Aerospray RG. I think it's a super fun weapon, just not entirely working out for us too well here. So, um, oh, these shades. This is gonna be the rest of my money if I get those, but they are very tempting. So I'm gonna look into that soon. Very cool shirt though, we got the Anaki Drive tee, as well as the Takaraka Nylon Vintage. So many cool shirts and they're also expensive. <laughs> oh no, um, red and black Squid Kid 4s as well. Looking really solid, but eventually, you know, that's sort of the thing, we don't have to worry about it too much because we will get more stuff soon. Whoa, that is some cool catalog rewards. Get a cool shirt and a really cool jacket, or no, cool hat and jacket. Um, definitely wanna grab some of those, but you know what, I think out of all these, the one I like the most is the shades. I put the shades we can get a lot of mileage out of, so I'll buy those ones. We will try to um, get some of these soon, here's hoping. But uh, for right now, I think that's good enough. So yeah, some cool gear, a fun weapon. 
What a great combo. Stay tuned for all the Spy Fest stuff coming up soon, but for right now, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Splatoon 3. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.